Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. Believe it or not, Android TV is nine years old. And in the early days, you really couldn't find a low cost box out there, at least from a name brand manufacturer. And many less than known brands kind of filled in the gaps there. And some of those boxes are still available today with of course, more up-to-date hardware. For some reason, a lot of them have clocks on the front of them too, like your old VCR. But there are some legitimate concerns over the legitimacy of these boxes. In fact, many of them have been found to have spyware and malware on board that can do all sorts of nefarious things. And the scariest part is that you're connecting your Google account to them. So what I thought I would do in this video is show you some ways you can see whether or not your box is legitimate and if it isn't, maybe offer some suggestions about boxes you could choose as an alternative that will better protect your privacy. So let's get to it. Now, what prompted me to make this video today was this article I found on TechCrunch recently regarding some of these generic Android TV boxes that you can find on Amazon and Walmart and AliExpress and everywhere else you can find cheap electronics. They quote a researcher who's been investigating this issue as saying that, what these boxes do when they boot up is go out to a command and control server and download malware that executes in the background without the knowledge of the user. Right now, that payload is a click bot, which basically has the box clicking on ads in the background. And what happens here is that the people controlling the command and control server collect revenue based on those clicks. Click fraud is a big problem in the digital advertising world and your TV box apparently will be contributing to it. But what scares me and should scare you is the quote here at the bottom because this researcher says that the way the malware is designed, the authors can push out any kind of payload they like. And basically what they've got here is a fairly powerful computer sitting inside of your firewall that they can use to do just about anything from your IP address. And that should be cause for concern. It was certainly cause for concern for Google, who right after that article was published, put up this blog post about how you can ensure that your Android TV device is a secure one. I would say stick to the name brands, but there's some other things that you can do to check for legitimacy here. Now, one of the things that they did was they published a list of the Android TV partner products here in the United States. And oddly, I did not see the Walmart brand on the list, the OnBox here. And I even went and looked at their list of international partners and didn't see On on that list either, although it's possible that one of these manufacturers is making this device for Walmart with that brand. So let's take a look and see if this OnBox here is legitimate. I suspect that it is, partly because this is running the new Google TV variant of the Android TV operating system. That is not available as an open source project. It'll be a lot harder to get this running on a generic box than it would be to get Android running by itself. So that's a good sign to start. And of course, I don't think Walmart would sell under their own brand something that was less than legitimate. But there's some ways that we can trust and verify here. So on the blog post that Google put up recently, what they say you can do is look inside of your Google Play Store and see if the device is Play Protect certified. By the way, this is something you can also look at on your Android phone. And so now let's go into the Google Play Store on this box and see if it is in fact Play Protect certified. Now, one of the challenges I had in verifying the legitimacy of this OnBox is that it is running with the Google TV OS, and this OS no longer surfaces the Google Play Store. You get this app shelf here, so you have to summon the Google Play Store through a search. It's still on here. It's just not something you can run by default. So if I hit my microphone button here and say Google Play Store, that will get us the Google Play app here. So you can see now it's opening it up and I've got that familiar Google Play interface. Now, if I go up to the top here and go over to my account section and go over to Play Protect, we can see that we have it available to us here and it will be scanning the apps for us, which is good. But we can also follow the instructions here and go over to About to make sure that we are Google Play certified. And if I jump back here 
you can see that it is indeed a certified device according to Google. I'm not sure how hard it is to make a counterfeit device here, but I am pretty confident based on what Google said I should do to verify it that this one is a certified Google Play device. The challenge again though is that these Google TV boxes don't have a very easy way to get to that confirmation screen. We had to go and summon an app that's not available to the rest of the operating system. But it's good to know here, because somebody did ask me about this, whether or not this OnBox is certified, and it does appear that it is. So what terrible things might happen to you if you're running a device that is not Play Protect certified? Well, it's possible that your box could be running that malware right now and committing click fraud on the internet. It could be doing worse things on the internet because again, they can send down any software they want. And what I'm most concerned about for people's individual privacy is that these boxes are often connected to our Google accounts. And if you are enabling the assistant on Android TV, for example, you're basically giving that device full access to your Google account. And if somebody wanted to burrow into your network and snoop around on not only your home network, but also all of your Google services, it's conceivable they could be using this device to do just that. That would mean your YouTube account, your Gmail account, and anything else you've got attached to Google. So there are some very uh, good reasons here to look at sticking to the name brands only at this point. And the good news is there's a lot of name brand devices that are not expensive that cost about the same as these generic ones that'll give you the peace of mind. So for example, the OnBox here is available. I think this is only like $30 or so. And then of course, if you need a little more horsepower, we got the Nvidia Shield TV Pro. This is still my go-to Android TV box in the house, especially for home theater, but it also does a great job with games and emulation. It's running with the same guts as the Nintendo Switch. And although it's a bit long in the tooth, around eight years at this point, NVIDIA has been supporting this product the whole way through with operating system upgrades and security updates. So you've got some really good choices now, both at the low end and the high end, and there really isn't much of a reason anymore to buy one of these generic boxes, especially given all the security concerns that are out there. So take a look and see if your Google Play Store says that your device is certified. If it isn't, Maybe it's time to get something that is. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Zybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Logic AGR, Tom Albrecht, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.